thing, or are you just doing a circle? Bing, bing, bong. I feel like I'm in a, a car in a showroom right now. Yeah, <laughs> that's what you look like. I'm like a, like a C-class Mercedes. You peaked. I peaked. All right, guys, what is up? YouTube. Today, it's me, your humble host, JR. The humblest of humble. Humblest of humble. But right, we also got Lee. Lee, you want to say hi? The humblest of cameramen. Yeah. But we are here at the Sarasota Skate Park, and I'm going to teach you how to do a 360 tail whip. So let's get it. All right, so first thing you want to do when you are wanting to learn how to three whip is, hey, you got to know how to 360. got to know how to tail whip. And I suggest knowing how to tail up air because that will kind of help you out with the, uh, the spinning part. You can watch my how to tail up air right here. But the second thing you want to do is find the perfect fly out. So we have this giant quarter wedge bank thing and it'll, it'll work for today's video. Come on. Yeah, the skateboarder ruining the audio along with this horrible music. All right, so when you're coming at the fly out, you want to get a good amount of speed. You want to go. I would say at least three feet to four feet, just depending on how fast your whips are and how fast your spins are. Um, when you three, you want to go straight, and as soon as you're pulling off the lip and you're kind of hitting 45 degree angle, that's when you want to do the tail whip, like start the rotation of the tail whip. It's just like in a tail whip air, like you do that, so then you're starting here, and then I usually catch maybe like right under 180, and then you just pull it right around. So. I'll show you like the perfect three, I'll show you the tail whip, and then you're gonna put them together and form a three whip. So there, always nice and level. That's exactly how you wanna be, except you wanna throw a whip. So, I guess I'll just throw a three whip, and you'll see where I kicked it off and everything. Okay? Okay. I'm down here now. <laughs> and I'm up here. Here, I'll come down there. So, as you could see, as soon as I took off, I dropped my shoulder hard, hit my brake, whip it around, got right under 180, caught, and pulled around. A really good tip for these is just stay over your bike. Everything is all about being over your bike because if you're too far back you're gonna loop out and your bike's gonna be too far away but when i'm doing them i'm looking and keeping my shoulders squared right over my bike like this and so i can see everything that happened i literally watch my feet pull on and then crank around let's get out before we get hit by a skateboard okay, okay. all right so two problems i had when i was doing three whips first one could never catch the back pedal it's just because I didn't have tail up styled and I wasn't fully committed. If you're fully committed and you have tail up styled, you can pull this around. Second thing is, I would under rotate a lot. The thing is, when you're whipping the three, you kind of lose a lot of your momentum in your spin. So as soon as you catch it, what I do is I just kind of torque my head and it brings it around. So it's like slow, 180, catch, and then you spin it right around quick. So just kind of give it that extra bit of effort into it and you'll, you'll do, do it. Right? You'll do it. Yeah, just do it. Woohoo! Easy enough. So, it's a fun trick. This is my first one I've done in a while because I just haven't had a good fly out quarter to do it on. And, uh, yeah, comment down below if you get it. Comment if you have any questions. Uh, send me video clips of you landing it on Instagram at TheRealJRHobbs. And don't forget to buy some merch at LYMBMX. Link is right here, and we'll see y'all later. Bye-bye. <laughs>